Okay, now let us talk about some more basic git commands. So what we have learned till now. We have learned a git status command which displays the state of the working directory and the staging area. Then we talked about git add command. It adds files to the staging area or index. Then after adding the files, we uh, committed them. So what does commit do? It saves the changes to the local repository. Now if you want to push those changes uh, from local repository to remote uh, repository on GitHub, then we use git push commands. Let's, uh, let's see some more git commands. Branch. So what is a branch actually? Sometimes uh, you decide to diverge from a line of development and try something different. For example, a new feature you want to try or you want to fix a bug, but you want to preserve the actual state of the project. Then what you do is you create branches. So sometimes when you're working on a project with a version being used by many people, you may not want to edit that version. So you create a branch. So for this, you use the command git checkout uh, with switch b branch name. This will create uh, the branch as well as switch to the new branch. Okay. Now if you want to switch back to master branch, you will use the command git checkout master. If you want to see what branch you are on, you will use the command git branch. So this is the diagram you can see you have uh, another versions you can branch and then after branching you finally merge it into the master. So default branch is the master branch of git repo. Pull. So pull command. Uh, so if you fork someone's repository or have multiple branches you'll both be uh, working separately right sometimes you want to merge in your changes into the other branch or repository to do so you need to send a pull request so pull is basically a fetch and merge now so it works on uh, we deal with uh, these two things pull request from a fork repository and we pull request from a branch within a repository so uh, we have uh, discussed in our previous lectures that how to create a github repository from the github website. Another method uh, we can create a uh, github repository is by forking another user's repository. You can see this fork here on a github page you can find it on your profile and your uh, dashboard and you can uh, fork another user's repository by creating the copy. So after forking now you want to merge in your changes into another branch or repo for that you will need to uh, do the send a pull request so now you'll go to github website then uh, you hit the branch you are interested and then click this button compare and pull request this is how you do the pull request from the github website so this way after pulling uh, you can then merge the changes too so pull uh, request is basically asking you to fetch and merge. So you can submit pull request to help make other people's projects better by offering your changes up to the original project. We can see here that from remote repository we uh, enter git fetch command and we get it on our local repository and then we finally merge it with the working copy. This whole process is called a git pull. git k so this is a graphical based interface to a local git repository we enter this command git k we'll see a graphical based interface here and this allows you to know the git status in a snapshot basically git k is visual representation of the branch or head uh, commit history and changes in a dashboard okay so these are about the git commands we are going to teach you so there are a lot more uh, git commands which you can go through from git documentation and git help sites also if you have any queries you can post it in our question and answer section and you can email us at info at the red big data thank you